Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube video segment, I'm going to be talking about a controversial issue and a story that has figured prominently in the sports world uh, in recent days and it's regarding a possible reinstatement of legendary MLB player Pete Rose. Now, Pete Rose has recently applied for reinstatement with the new Major League Baseball Commissioner. Now he has been banned from baseball since 1989 I believe. So this, is, this is over 25 years. And there's two sides to the story or I should say two opinions. You're going to see some people saying well it's time to be merciful and compassionate and not hold a grudge against Pete Rose. You're being vindictive by keeping him out of the Hall of Fame we're in such an unforgiving society and this and that and then there's the other side that feels that hey he, he committed this this crime he, he did bet it was in conjunction with major league baseball while he was the manager of the of the cincinnati reds does uh... and he needs to uh... pay the price which which should be a lifetime ban now i believe that he should be banned for life and some people are going to think that I'm cold or callous and without compassion and it's not about that it's the fact that Pete Rose he compromised the integrity of the game and I think we have to uphold the decision uh, that was made uh, as far as him being banned for life for this reason now people will say well gee what about all these players in the past that did certain things that they were philanders or they were drunks and I mean what there there's players that have, uh, are quote unquote they guilty of these things and they are in the Hall of Fame and have Hall of Fame status well the thing about that is whatever these other players did it was not in conjunction with the game itself uh, this was these things were done in their private life and they weren't breaking any uh, laws by doing so I mean they weren't it wasn't anything where they should have been apprehended or arrested for overindulging in alcohol is not necessarily something that that's a crime I mean if you get pulled over that that's something and uh, you're pulled over for being drunk but I mean drinking uh, more than you should is in itself may not be really it's a crime or if you're philandering you might be breaking some kind of uh, moral code or something but as far as uh, as a man-made code there's nothing that, that's broken now Pete Rose is somebody that definitely has Hall of Fame numbers irrebuttably he's got most of you know he's the all-time hits leader he has the most singles in Major League Baseball history. He has the 44 game hitting streak, which is tied for all time uh, games, consecutive games with a hit, a 44. He was like, uh, he was in a really a prototypical player. And he was obviously somebody that played the game the way it probably should be played, with a lot of aggression, a lot of fortitude, a lot of courage. And really he played with the no fear concept and for me I, I really would like to say that he should go into the Hall of Fame and he deserves it now by the numbers yes he's a Hall of Fame player don't get me wrong he's he's got the as far as what he did on the playing field the numbers he amassed and compiled that there's no doubt he would be a Hall of Famer but the problem is this let's say hypothetically this reinstatement goes through and he is at some point shortly after that he's becomes a Hall of Famer now the problem with that is this that could give other people impetus or incentive to do something like Pete Rose did and say okay well you know what if I gamble and, and I bet on baseball while I'm playing and even connection with my own team or what have you and if I get caught I'll be banned for a certain amount of time and then I could come back 
and, and then I could be reinstated eventually. No big deal. That's the problem, too, with this. And I think baseball has to uphold its morality and what's ethically right in this situation. And I think if you let Pete Rose come back and he becomes a whole, let's say he becomes a Hall of Famer, then I don't really understand why why he should have even why was he banned to begin with? It would almost make no sense just for a temporary ban for betting and, and doing this in conjunction with the game that that you're associated with. So what I'm saying is there's no time that would be considered too long for Pete Rose to be banned from Major League Baseball. Baseball needs to be steadfast to what they they originally proposed by by keeping them out of Major League Baseball and they need to uphold it. There to me this would just open the door for other people to do what Pete Rose did, replicate what he did and then allow them to come back into the, in, into pro Major League Baseball and I understand if you're reinstated into MLB and you become eligible for the Hall of Fame, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get elected. I think it would take some time for people to actually vote for him. And you're going to get a lot of people that are going to be vehemently opposed to him anyway. And he might not get elected enshrined into the Hall of Fame in his lifetime. Pete Rose is now 73 years old. So it really is, it would take, it may take some time until you've got all these quote unquote, these people that become merciful and compassionate or whatever you want to call it, and they decide, well, I'm going to, I'm going to let him in. Now, there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time for compassion and empathy, and I do realize that, and I'm not like this person that's without a heart. I don't, I, I feel like, okay, he did, he, he did commit uh, this crime, and I feel, okay, he might have not gone out or murdered anybody or, or did anything real, like, uh, so abhorrent where it caused really harm to anyone, but he kind of, what he did was, by comp he compromised the integrity of Major League Baseball, and I think you have to, you have to set a precedent, and by doing so, that such a precedent would be keeping him out in a life, really a lifetime banishment. If you if you put somebody in, and you're gonna you're gonna say he's gonna be out for life, you need to uphold to it, and you have to be you have to be strong in this regard, considering uh, the circumstances. Now, Pete Rose, I mean, I'm sure he's all around good guy and. He don't strike me as somebody that's like this real, I, I don't see him as doing anything like, like a career criminal or, or, or a corrupt person. I'm sure he's very, oh, on, uh, overall, a fairly scrupulous person. And I don't have any hatred or animosity toward him, don't get me wrong. But this is about the precedent. This is about keep setting this example and sticking with it and, and not backing down. And if, if Major League Baseball allows him to come back in to the Hall of Fame, they're basically, what they'll be doing is, they're going to be basically stating that, it, almost as if this was condoned, that this was something that, that was, that, that's okay, we're going to allow him to come back into Major League Baseball after this, and he has the possibility of being voted into the Hall of Fame in the process. So... This is really something uh, that people should consider and think about uh, before possibly uh, letting him in. If the commissioner, if he allows him in and, and this reinstatement goes through and it's approved, and if he, by some chance, Pete Rose becomes a Hall of Famer, I will be disappointed and I'll, I'll feel that it was almost a travesty to the game and that's really what I... To really to justice and to the game of baseball and that's really what I believe on it. Well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube segment for uh, Pete Rose and whether he should be reinstated or not. 
And until next time, people, Edwin Lerman saying, stay well.